Hey everybody, me again. Um, something that sometimes confuses people about this week is that this week we're talking about copyright, which is different than plagiarism. And some people think they're the same thing. So I'm going to quickly walk you through copyright, which we'll talk about this week, and differentiate it from plagiarism, which we're going to talk about uh, um, later in this course. Okay, so here's the difference between copyright and plagiarism. So copyright is a legal issue. Copyright law is what we're talking about. It's a law that protects your intellectual property or anyone else's intellectual property. It's any creative work fixed in some kind of medium. So if you wrote a novel, if you wrote a blog post, if you wrote some music, recorded music, uh, a video that you made, any creative work that is protected by copyright um, by law. You don't have to do anything. It's just automatically protected by copyright. And when someone violates copyright law, that is called copyright infringement. Um, so we want to contrast copyright infringement, which is bad, with plagiarism, which is also bad. They're bad for different reasons. Okay, so in copyright infringement, it means you're taking someone else's creative work, copying it and sharing it, distributing it. Um, and that could mean pirating mu movies, downloading music illegally, uh, downloading TV shows illegally, um, getting illegal copies of textbooks. If you perform a play or a dance that someone else wrote or choreographed in a public performance, that's violating their copyright. Uh, or even reusing a copyrighted image from the web, grabbing a picture and using it on your blog post, like somebody did uh, in this week's readings. If it's not your picture and you don't have permission to use it, it's copyrighted and you could get sued for that. So here's the important thing about copyright that people don't understand. If you use someone else's work, it's not enough to just give them credit. Even if you give credit to the creator, if you didn't get permission to do what you're doing with their work, it's copyright infringement. Right? Giving credit is not important. Uh, what, you, what you need is permission to reproduce their work. But plagiarism is different. Uh, we all know what plagiarism is, right? It's when you take someone else's words or ideas and present them as your own. So if you were writing a paper, weren't sure what to say, went to Wikipedia and grabbed a few lines of the article, pasted them into your paper as though you wrote them, that's plagiarism. But if you were reading online and you read an article or a blog post where someone had a great idea, um, and then you turned around and wrote that as if it was your idea, that's also plagiarism. But the difference with plagiarism is that as long as you give credit to the person who wrote the words that you're quoting, or wrote or came up with the idea that you're repeating, as long as you give them credit by properly citing them, that's totally okay. So this is where students sometimes get confused. They may say, well, because of copyright, I can't quote somebody. I can't take their words and reproduce them in my paper. And actually, it's totally okay to quote someone else in your paper as long as you give them credit by citing them because you're only taking a very, very small portion of their paper, maybe a couple of lines or, or a small short paragraph, right? That's what you're putting in double quotes. So you're not taking the entire article and reproducing it. If you were taking the entire article and reproducing it, uh, that would be copyright infringement. But just taking a small part and quoting it in an academic paper, totally fine. It's not copyright infringement. It's totally allowed. Um, so that's where people get confused. Uh, copyright infringement, people um, really get mad because they're losing income or revenue that they could be making when selling their stuff. If you give it away for free, then they can't sell it or they're going to sell it less because people are getting it for free, right? So you can avoid copyright infringement just by knowing something called the fair use doctrine, getting an idea of what's fair, fair use and what's not. Fair use is the legal use of copyright information. And then you can avoid plagiarism by just properly citing your quotes and properly citing your ideas in your papers. And the, these two things are also different because the consequences of them are very different, but equally bad. So with copyright infringement, because it's a law, if you infringe the law, you could get sued. You might have to pay someone damages for their lost revenue because you took their work and made it free online or distributed it for free online. You may um, have to pay expensive lawyer fees. You really do not want to get caught infringing copyright. We're going to talk about that in depth this week. Plagiarism is dishonesty, right? Representing someone else's work or idea, words or ideas is your own. 
and that has personal consequences that you could get an F in a course, you could get expelled, or there have even been cases of people losing their jobs out in the professional world because they plagiarized. So it's a kind of dishonesty, and we'll talk about plagiarism several weeks later in this course. So I hope that helps clear up the difference between copyright infringement and plagiarism.